So after this video, you will have a working Python environment to begin learning, practicing and developing machine learning and deep learning software. So make sure you watch this video till the end. I will demonstrate with Windows operating system and uh, the process is pretty much the same. You can go ahead and follow the same instructions on other operating systems as well. Now let's understand how do we really get started. To start with we'll be using a really basic and really famous open source library that is a scikit-learn. So scikit-learn is a famous open source machine learning library in Python and we'll be creating all of our application and all of our models with the help of Python only. There are two languages that you can think of using when it comes to machine learning. First is Python and second is R. I'll be using Python here to create machine learning applications. What all we can do with this scikit-learn library is classification, regression, clustering, dimensionality reduction, model selection, pre-processing. So these are some techniques, these are some algorithms that we can use in machine learning and provided by scikit-learn. But now the question is how? Now we know how to apply machine learning, but how I really use these techniques to create machine learning algorithm. For that, we need to install Anaconda packages. So Anaconda is basically a software a application that we need to install. I'll show you how to download and set up Anaconda. Basically, there are n number of ways by which you can create machine learning applications. But to start with the very famous way that we generally use is Anaconda with Jupyter. What is Jupyter now? Jupyter is again a tool, a software which will help you to create a Python or machine learning applications. So its name itself contains some meaning here. JU stands for Julia, Py, PY stands for Python, this TER stands for R language. So Jupyter Notebook supports Julia, Python and R. As you can see in the logo, these three are the moons of the Jupyter. Anyway, are we going to install all of these tools and softwares? Not really. We'll be downloading and installing only and only Anaconda. Anaconda is a package which comes up with pre-built, pre-installed all other applications. Like Jupyter Notebook is pre-installed in the Anaconda. So you don't have to really install Jupyter explicitly. And even you don't have to install Spider explicitly. I mean, Spider and Jupyter, these two tools come pre-built with Anaconda. We'll be installing only Anaconda here. Nothing other than that. Let me show you how can we really install and get started. So definitely very first thing that we download and gonna install is an Anaconda package. So I'll search Anaconda download for Windows as I have Windows machine for now. You can download it for Mac or for Linux as well. So I'll just type and download Anaconda for Windows and you can select the very first link that is Anaconda Python or our distribution Anaconda.com. It's a free download. It's an open source application. All right, as you can see, it's the world's most popular Python or R data science platform. You can simply click on this and you can get it downloaded. So there are two different Anaconda installer that we have here. First one is Python 3.7 version and second is Python 2.7 version. Simply click on download and get it downloaded, right? And you can also see here, we have Windows, Mac and Linux. Based on your requirement, you can click on that and you can download whichever tool suits best to you. As I already have it downloaded and installed, I'll just stop this. As you can see here, what we get with Anaconda is a complete package of softwares, complete package of different, different tools. Can you see a Jupyter, Spider, NumPy, SciPy, TensorFlow, H2O, AI, Scikit-Learn, Matplotlib, all these pre-built, pre-installed packages that we get with Anaconda. Okay, so once you download, the installation is really simple. You just have to click next, 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 keep all the default settings as it is. So once you restart your machine, go to start and look for Anaconda Navigator. I have it here, right? So you have two options, Anaconda Navigator and Anaconda Prompt. So we'll click on Anaconda Navigator for now. Okay, so once the Anaconda Navigator is started, this is how it will look like. So the one tool that we are more interested in is a Jupyter Notebook. We can just click on launch and uh, that's it. We can just get started with this. And yes, Jupyter Notebook gets launched in browser because it's a web based application. It's a browser based application. Uh, this is how the UI will look like to start with. So let's see if you have all the libraries and configurations installed here. Currently it is showing the root directory that has been set. Generally it is C drive and users directory. Let's create a new notebook here to understand if we are in line. I'll click on new here 
and as you can see which notebook you want to create i want to create a python 3 that means python is inline python is pre-installed i'll just click on this let me just check the libraries and the versions of the libraries for that i already have a script written here this is the script which is written in py basically this is nothing but the python code that we have so i'll just copy this and i will paste it here in the python notebook let me just press shift enter to execute this cell all right so this shows which versions that i have installed so currently we are checking do we have scipy installed do we have numpy installed do we have python and which version of python which version of pandas what stat model version that we have and also we are checking for sk learn import sk learn and scikit learn version we want to check right so if you check it it is uh, 0.19.1 so we have these libraries already in line now let's also check if we have libraries installed for deep learning for neural networks as well this may not be needed to start with but if you really want to deep dive and learn deep learning neural networks then we need we need to install these libraries i again have a python code to check deep learning library versions i'll just copy this and let me paste them in a new cell here and uh, i can press shift enter to execute this cell so basically we are checking if we have Tiano installed if we have tensorflow installed and if we have keras installed Tiano is not used now Tiano is already dead but anyway if you want you can still use it so the very famous and dominating one in the market is the tensorflow definitely because it is backed by google right for now you can just ignore these warnings as you can see Tiano 1.0.1 tensorflow 1.7 and keras 2.1 so this means i have all the required libraries installed on my machine installed in my anaconda so if you don't have these libraries installed how we can do that let me go to anaconda prompt again or anaconda navigator again or if you have just the python or any other python ide installed then how can you get these libraries on top of python let me show you that i'm going back to anaconda navigator here here as you can see we have a one more option that is console shortcut you can just click on this so this will basically open a windows command prompt for now or you can manually go to start and search for anaconda prompt as you can see anaconda prompt i'll just click on this anaconda prompt here i can again check the versions of the libraries that i have installed the same thing that i've tried on jupyter notebook Okay, so here I can install any other tool or any other library if they are not installed. So how can I do that? I have some commands that I need to fire. There is a command called Conda and there is a one more command called PIP, PIP. So Conda is specifically a Anaconda specific command which will be used to download and install packages. Whereas PIP is more specifically for Python. Okay. Conda works beyond Python as well, whereas pip is only for Python. Okay, so we'll be using Conda for now. So I'll check Conda version for now. I'll say Conda dash capital V to check Conda version installed. So it says Conda 4.4. So if you want to update your Conda, you can say Conda update Conda. This will update Conda. I'm just canceling this operation for now. Similarly, we can check which Python version installed on our machine. I can say Python dash capital V to check the version of Python. So currently I have 3.6 installed on my machine. All right. As I told you, the scikit-learn library is the first library that we'll be using to start building our machine learning models. So to update scikit-learn, I'll say conda update scikit-learn. I'll just cancel this operation for now. The way we checked all our libraries on Jupyter Notebook, we can check again which versions of libraries that we have here with the help of this command prompt as well. So basically we are going to execute this Python file and the name of this Python file is version.py. I will just execute this. It's already here in this drive. So I'll simply say python version.py. So this script should get executed and it will show me which version of these libraries I have installed on my Anaconda. The same thing that we have seen on Jupyter Notebook. Now to install any other libraries, say deep learning libraries, uh, let's say we want to install Theanos. Uh, anyway, we don't use Theanos, but just to show you how to install it. 
uh, we can also install tensorflow just to install these libraries i can say conda i'm going to cancel this one off i have already installed it similarly i can install a uh, one more famous deep learning library that is tensorflow i have also installed tensorflow i'll just cancel it again similarly you can also install one more library that is keras you can say pip install keras i will also cancel this operation okay so now to check the versions of my deep learning libraries that i have installed i can i have a script written in the python again this is what the script the script we have already executed on jupyter notebook so now let's run this on anaconda prompt i will say python followed by deep v.py that is deep learning version.py it's basically it's just the name of the file nothing else for now you can just ignore the warnings okay you can see theano 1.0.1 then tensorflow 1.7.0 then keras 2.1.5 great so i have uh, everything in line and uh, we are ready we can create our first machine learning model now bang on all right that is it for this video let me know how many of you are able to successfully do the setup on your machines in the comment below i'll provide a link for you to download these python scripts so that you can directly execute this and check what version you have installed for both for machine learning and for deep learning both i will give you the link to download these files okay you can find them in the description below all right that is it for now bye bye take care see you in the next video